What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Sonic Mania Let's Play. First thing we're going to do, um, we're going to watch a little of the intro movie, or the full intro movie. It's not so long, but it really kind of sets the mood for um, the appeal of this game. This is a retro throwback, and I think they just did it fantastically. So, I'm just going to watch this a little bit. I'll jump right into the movie pretty quick. Those are the new characters. Um, God, I guess I feel like I know Sonic lore, but I'm not sure if they're totally new characters in the background there. Mighty the Armadillo might be from Knuckles Chaotix. Turn the sound up for you. Reminds me of the cartoon, but kind of a combination of both cartoons, the best of each. Fantastic, huh? You kids ready for it? I'm ready for it. Let's get this on. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, this is just a love letter to old nerds like me. Mania mode. Start a new file. Um, I've tried this a couple of times now. <laughs> and there's been a couple of errors. So, we're going to start again. Game starts off, they're heading back to Angel Island. There's something going on with the Chaos Emeralds again. It sends us right off Green Hill Zone. So you have to I apologize. I've done this now um, two times in two days to try and get this capture right. And it's just I've had a couple of technical difficulties with the new card. But here it is. This should be 60 hertz. And that means that you're really getting all the frames of animation. It was, it was kind of bothersome with Sonic and Knuckles. Um, that playthrough, there's a lot of kind of flickering other sprites to make make things appear um, more than they really are like rocket engines and stuff like that just kind of look like solid background layers to you guys um, and you guys deserve better than that man I gotta do you better so here's the 60 Hertz card I'm real stoked about it uh, but yeah I had a couple technical difficulties the last recording I did of this I tried last night and my audio was just like cutting in and out. It's real bad, so. Okay, so here's the new bonus stages, or these should be similar to the Sonic CD ones. Um, 3D Sonic. What our goal here is, is to catch that UFO that's carrying the Chaos Emerald. And what we do is we lose one ring every second. And what we're trying to do is collect enough of these blue orbs so that we can speed up. And so you see that thing that says Mach 2 right now? It means I'm at the second level of speed. We get to level 3, and then if we have enough coins and I, you know, run run true, uh, we should be able to catch that thing. It gets real difficult. I've never gotten all the Chaos Emeralds. I think I've gotten at most four of them. These special stages are pretty hard for me. The You can make as many loops as you want, 
and uh, the blue orbs reset every time you make a loop around the track, but the coins don't. So you only get so much time to figure it out, and you might get too far behind, so you can never catch up. Yeah, it's it's not easy. Here we are, underneath Green Hail Zone, huh? Did you guys ever think you'd see that? God, I love it. Love everything about it. Like, yeah, what's it look like under the lake, you know? You're dying, you bastard. Boom. So, new power-up for Sonic. Um, in Sonic 3, he had the press jump a second time, and you get that little light um, kind of increased hitbox. This one's really cool, too. So, you'd press jump a second time, and you land into a, uh, like a medium-speed spin dash. It's really good for getting situations like that, where you just need some kind of quick speed and... But I do find myself missing that kind of bigger dash, or that bigger um, jump hit. And you can change that in the menu. If you really prefer the Sonic and Knuckles 3 version, um, you can change it. So, yeah, this game is just... God, it's a love letter to us. To us Sonic faithful. And it's kind of a shame. <laughs> and why would you ask that? Why? How could it be a shame? Well, it's a shame because... <laughs> I'm going to expect this again, you know? I've had 15 years to kind of just get used to the fact that, like, Sonic just doesn't make games I want to play very much. Um, and now, now I'm back on track. <laughs> like, oh my god, what's the new Sonic game coming out? I want it. Um, the bonus rings, or, like, if you have a certain amount of rings and you go through a uh, checkpoint, all of these are... The Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, mini games or Chaos Emerald games, and we don't we don't get anything for it, so it kind of sucks. Like, there's no more power-ups in those anymore, and this is just kind of bragging rights. Um, I have them done them all when this game came out. I really like put a lot of effort <laughs> into getting all these done. There's like 40 of them now, which is some obscene amount. Um, I don't remember what you unlock when you do it all, but it's unlocked. I think what it is, is the fact that Knuckles is with me. So that's an option you can turn on and off of the menu. You can say, and Knuckles. It's kind of funny. And so, um, you can always have Knuckles following you. <laughs> you can play as Tails with Knuckles following you. You could be Knuckles having Knuckles follow you. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of a goofy thing. I don't know if that's the, um, what you unlock, but I believe that was an unlockable. really want to... Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that's that's also fine. Darn it. Yeah. So this is a new one, uh, at least I haven't seen it before. Um, so look at my coins now, they're blue. Means when I get hit, big size coins are gonna come out that are worth 10 apiece and they don't quite fly so far away. So it's pretty easy to get most or all of your coins back again. Kind of a neat little power up. Okay, fine. You just want to play like that? Fine. We're just going to cheese you, big guy. You can stand on that arm. Okay, fine. I don't care. I'm 
but I love it. I love that there's a there's a normal stage, and then the Act Two is like a total redesign. And I I don't know why. I, I love the fact that you end Act One underneath Green Hill Zone. Like, yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> like, I think uh, Sonic just has some of the coolest environments out there, and more little snippets of it. Yeah, dude, that's all I want. Like, all I want. <laughs> I like that little animation. I'm a kid. I like it. Chemical plant zone, man. Such a fast moving zone. And that's really... They did a great job with this um, game because it just moves so fast and despite its speed you still feel like you're in control. Like you're not running into things unnecessarily. Maybe it's the widescreen, maybe it's the 60 hertz, but you feel like there's enough time to react and you feel like you're moving quick. No, don't touch me. Oh, I always try and get out of there before the little pink crap can get you. This was a hard jump as a kid. It's still kind of hard. Like, it's just not... Oh, no. Son of a biscuit. Okay, we gotta get out of here quick. Gonna be running out of air here any second. Yeah, I hate going in the chemical water. What is this, Union Carbide? Okay, first little act done. Get a couple hits off him there, or at least one hit. Oh god. Fine. You're done, son. You can cheese a lot of these bosses. <laughs> So, act two, right? Let's let's take a new take on it. So that that is poison. But if I do this, add some kind of catalyst in there. Ah, now it's a spring. And what's the green? Green changes it still. Boom! <laughs> I love it so much. I love it so much. I think it's just such a clever thing to add to chemical plants and like yeah, chemical plant zone didn't seem like much of a chemical plant, you know? <laughs> like, I mean, it looks kind of like Metropolis Zone should have looked, in my opinion, you know? Um, like, I think they could have taken the background from chemical and made it Metropolis, which is something I feel like I've talked about a few times on this channel now, but, um, yeah. Like, now it feels like a chemical plant. Which is just, I don't know, man. It's just great. It's like the guys who made this really, really love Sonic. And they really know how to make a good Sonic game. They know what I want, at least. Stupid poison. I love the remixes too. Guys, check out the soundtrack on YouTube. Like, 
finish watching my channel, you know. But no, I don't care. But uh, yeah, I'm not having the soundtrack up super loud because uh, I want to hear you. Because you know, maybe you guys want to hear what I have to say. But uh, check out, check the soundtrack out. It's really good. This game is really good. Like I think there's a couple of songs I listen to semi-regularly at work on YouTube. Just put it on when I got like document processing or something like that and um, one of them is Press Garden Zone from <laughs> from Sonic Mania which is the fifth act we won't get to that in this video but we will get to it and it's it's fantastic and the remix to the classic tracks are really good also man so good but like, yeah, this is like a new zone and you just fly through it because it's just so well constructed. It's new and fresh all at the same time. God, I hope they make a new Sonic Mania. I just keep checking. And no, nothing's announced. Like, the Sonic Colors got released, right? That's like garbage. Like, it's just buggy as hell, and I don't know, man. <laughs> Sega, just, I love you because you're broken, but sometimes I need you to be more than broken. Okay, so it's just mean being machine. Puyo Puyo. I gotta get four in a row here, in case you never played, not in a row, but four grouped, in case you never played uh, Poyo Poyo. Um, okay, we'll do it like that. I need a blue one real bad. Give me a blue, please. That's not what I want. How's he doing? He's, he's... We're wearing him out. Wearing you down! God, stupid Urkel. Sometimes I remember dumb things he used to say. That dates the hell out of me. Yes, Urkel was... part of a TV show called Family Matters from, like, the late 80s or early 90s. And it was this nerdy family, or it was this family, this African-American family in Chicago, uh, now, you know what? I'm not going to describe who Urkel is. Uh, either you know it, or you don't need to know it. I'll just I'll just leave with that. Okay, he looks like he's just about done for, huh? Take some of that. Done, son. Who wears the big diaper now? I love that animation off the springs now. That whole like twist, that's really cool. Um, and I think that's coming out of Sonic CD. So, brand new act, right? Never been here before. Studiopolis zone. Lights, camera, action. I really appreciate the kind of low fidelity voice. It sounds like Action 52. Lights, camera, action. I didn't know anyone who had Action 52. I never even heard of that game until the Angry Video Game Nerd uh, started playing it. But, um, my lord, is it, 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 is, it is bad. <laughs> it's... But the Genesis one is is bad, but it's it's tolerable. Let's see how long we can stay up here. Okay, so I've blown my double jump. Okay. I think 
pink bot is a reference to Streets of Rage, right? Isn't that what, like the first level? Some of the bars are named Pink Bot. Uh, let me know if I got that right. Hornet. that bonus level. Boom! Let's get it. Let's get another Chaos Emerald, kiddos. Gotta get more than that, too. So that UFO got, got away from us. get too far in front but we're good on time okay so that's the first loop so there's no point taking a long way anymore want to keep a distance to it okay we should get Mach 3 here there we go now we'll catch him These levels aren't so hard yet, but they get real hard. the theme. I like the music. Yeah, I don't know. I love this damn game. <laughs> I guess that's the point. Oh yeah, check out the subway card down there. It says CPU and Cope. Straight out of Spring Yard Zone, baby. I love Spring Yard Zone. That was one of my favorites. I feel like I live in Spring Yard Zone now. Like... Just these little city in the Alps, it's so... It is Spring Yard Zone around here. Okay. First of the new robot bastards. So, what we gotta do here, gotta avoid the red rockets. Okay, yeah, avoid the red rockets. Ah, I was trying to jump. I screwed that up and you got to jump into the blue ones and they will come back on him you guys want some eggnog want to go to club spin want eggnog want to go to club spin oh, shut up I just love him freaking out do you see his eyes when that missile comes back to him? Okay, so there's the CPU. A cope CPU. I just love it, man. So much fan service in this game. Look at his eyes. Oh, God. He gets out of there and one of his boys has to take it. What's your guys' favorite uh, zone from the original Sonic? So for me, it's either Spring Yard Zone, but Starlight Zone also. Like, for a long time, I couldn't get past Labyrinth Zone as a kid. And, um, okay, I guess it didn't activate. Um, oh, get there. I couldn't get past Labyrinth Zone, and so I could only get to Starlight Zone with a... Uh, with a cheat code and the first time I saw it yep here we go again another reoccurring theme uh, just video game stars man I just golly I love it so much okay we gotta be careful here lame I don't remember having so many problems with this guy but you know we'll get through it he 
Yeah, Starlight Zone. I think Starlight Zone might be my first original Sonic uh, favorite level. Then Sonic 2, Aquatic Ruin Zone. I really like that one. But there's so many good ones, man. Hilltop Zone. Casino Night, obviously. Stars. Mm. Um, yeah, Sonic 2 just did so many things right. Thank you, Knuckles. I don't know much about Sonic CD. I don't even have a favorite zone for that. Like I've bought that game a few times. Like I have that on my Ouya actually. Um, of all places, but we didn't have the Sonic. We didn't have the Sega CD attachment when I was a kid. I'm friends with it, but it was just like even at that time, I'm like, dude, these are all just lame ass um, full motion video games, like Sewer Shark. Even as a kid, I'm like, this isn't impressive. I don't know. I guess full motion video games have their have their fans, but I am not one of them. I love Act 2, because it's really, it's like a 90s studio, you know? This can't be what, like, a modern video uh, TV studio is, if there is such a thing as modern TV. <laughs> it's all the internet now anyways, right? It's just a bunch of idiots like me in, like, their office just <laughs> talking to a, to a microphone, throwing it out on YouTube. Like, what? Who still watches, like, studio TV, right? What is it? Like, news networks, I guess? But I don't think our generation really watches Fox News or CNN or things like that. Any regularity? It's... Yeah. Maybe they haven't updated their hardware. <laughs> Maybe this is a modern studio. Is it going to go the way of, like, the news newspaper? Where do you want me to head to? Oh, through the wall. Wow. Just a bunch of, like, microphones that just short out. <laughs> Nothing dangerous about that! Damn you paparazzi bugs! I like that gimmick. It's a cool gimmick. So much parallax on this level. I love it. <laughs> a simple man. I want my 3D simulated in a very basic way. <laughs> so fast. It's just it's just a perfect Sonic game, man. 
Okay, so now we meet the rooster again from Mushroom Hill Zone. He's the weather chicken. What's the weather gonna be like? Oh, 63 and windy as hell. Seven hundred and fifty seven degrees, you say. It's a cool boss, but easy one. Okay, guys, that's 30 minutes. I think we should wrap it up here. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Like, if you haven't played this one play this one like stop watching this and play this one like get it it's great it's really really great all right i'll see you in the next episode thanks again bye for now